wanted to draw your attention to this really well-written op-ed by Leah Labrisco Sargent that came out recently. She's responding to the infamous photos in The Guardian alleging to show what nine-week pregnancies really look like. And if you recall, those photos had basically the tissues after an abortion washed of all blood and they were claiming this is all there is to see here. We talked about that article at the time if you want to go find our video on it here. But I really appreciate Leah's perspective on it, especially because she's a woman who's gone through miscarriage and she's in pregnancy loss support groups and she's talked to a lot of other people who have gone through miscarriage and she's drawing some attention to the way this discourse affects people who have endured pregnancy loss. As you may recall, the Guardian photos were provided by an organization called My Abortion Network and the narrative that they are pushing against is not one that is just purported by people who oppose abortion, it's also one purported by embryology textbooks and pregnancy websites that explain your development week to week and month to month. Leah explains that it was from The Bump, which is a pregnancy website, that I learned that clump of cells was far from an accurate description. The claim being made by My Abortion Network is that even seemingly neutral sources of information, like embryology textbooks, are presenting misinformation. As we pointed out in our video and others have pointed out elsewhere, the process of suction aspiration abortion would likely destroy the embryonic body, and that's what the My Abortion Network photos show. They show the destroyed tissues after an abortion rinsed of all blood. But they argue that even if the embryo were intact, the embryo would be too small to see with the naked eye. As Leah says, this is hard to take seriously. By nine weeks, a fetus is just under an inch long. No one needs a microscope or magnifying glass to see a body the size of a cherry. And countless women who have endured miscarriage already know this is the case. As she points out, in my miscarriage support groups, moms pass around photos of the bodies they found in order to help other people recognize and be prepared for what they might see from their miscarriages. In the nine-week photos shared, the babies are not invisible. Their fingers are clearly discernible, their heads massive and bobbing over their small torsos. And to be very clear, it is not just pro-life women who've gone through miscarriage who recognize this. When the Guardian article first came out, there was a lot of backlash across multiple social media platforms from pro-choice women who have gone through miscarriage and felt that The Guardian was being extremely dishonest and even gaslighting. Other abortion rights advocates also recognized this reality. The Washington Post had a story where they interviewed an abortion doula who illegally provides abortion pills, and she explained how she helps clients hide the evidence. She offers them a small vial of acid to dissolve any visible body. She says, I try to emotionally prepare them and say, it's going to look like a baby. Will a miscarriage or abortion always result in a recognizable body? No. But that's because those processes often destroy the body, not because the body did not exist or was not visible to the naked eye in its original form. We all know that nine-week embryos are discernibly human. Yes, even to the naked eye. Which begs the question, why do abortion supporters try so hard to pretend that they're not?